zombies don't eat veggies by George and Megan Lucera. Mo was a zombie with a deep, dark craving. It was dreadful, devious, absolutely despicable. Mo loved to eat vegetables. He grew all kinds of veggies in his hidden garden. And then in his secret kitchen, he crafted celery, tomatoes, and carrots into delicioso meals that he devoured with delight. Mo's mom and dad did not love vegetables. Not one bit. Veggies were yucky. Disgusting. Que asco. They were not allowed at the Romero's dinner table. Ready to chase some humans in the marathon next week, mijo? Zombies were supposed to eat zombie cuisine like brain cakes, brain stew, and brain and bean tortillas. Mo's parents insisted that their niño eat only zombie food. Finger foods, mi amor? Gracias, I'm not hungry. Mo tried to convince his mom and dad to give peas a chance. He sneaked in vegetables whenever he could. Grains? But Mo's attempts were fruitless. His parents wanted him to accept who he was, a zombie. And zombies don't eat veggies. Mo knew he did not like zombie cuisine, and he couldn't imagine letting go of spinach or cucumbers or kale forever. If zombies are only supposed to eat zombie cuisine, Mo started to wonder if maybe he wasn't a zombie after all. Day after day, Mo wondered how he could make his parents understand his love for veggies. His tomatoes were tantalizing, his cucumbers crispy, the peppers perfection, add onions, some garlic, a touch of cilantro, and gazpacho! Holy holy, Mo had an idea, his best one yet. Mo grabbed his book of recipes, his fingers flew across the pages, until he found it. The recipe for a tomato and veggie filled soup. He was sure the tomatoes would make it look bloody and gloopy, just like a zombie dish. His parents were going to devour it. He chopped and diced, blended and pureed, perfected and poured. Finally, the soup was finished. Mo carefully shuffled it over to the house before dinner where he found a feast fit for a zombie. Mijo, you're just in time! Pickled tongue, arroz con spleens, famous chili con ojo, dory toes for dipping, arm pandas. Try some arm pandas, mi amor! Prime cuts, mira, I made spicy mayonnaise. I made something for you to try too. It's called blood bile bisque. Bon appetit. Give it five brains. Smells strange. Looks delightful. Cinco brains must be delicioso. They dug in. Mo closed his eyes and sucked in his breath. This was it. They'd savor the soup. They'd ask for mas. Mo imagined breakfasts, lunches, dinners, snacks, all vegetables. Raw, cooked, steamed and fried forever and ever. He saw all his dreams coming true. Until... Mo's parents did not like the soup. No, not one bit. Mo's heart sank into his toes. His plan was a bust. Dios mío, this soup tastes like, like, vegetables. Yuck. How many times do we have to tell you that zombies don't eat veggies? Maybe other zombies don't eat vegetables, but I do, Mom and Dad. I'm different, but I'm still me. Mauricio Romero, you're Nino, you're Mo. Mo reminded his parents that he liked chasing humans as they ran in marathons. He also loved doing the zombie shuffle under the moonlight with Mom. And he promised he'd always cheer for Dad during championship brain-eating competitions. He was a zombie, a Romero. He just liked to eat vegetables. Mo's parents loved their son and finally accepted that it was okay to be different. They even promised Mo that they would eat more veggies for him, but only a teeny tiny bit. The Romeros knew that most zombies don't eat veggies, but they were more than zombies. They were a family. 